My name is David Harvey and in this masterclass I'm going to talk to you about a metamorphic chair. How do you turn one thing into something completely different? To stay up to date with recent acquisitions, tips about caring for your cherished pieces and free antiques fairs invitations, why not subscribe to our newsletter using the link below. Generations of children have sat and listened to the radio to the magical words of Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Well, I can tell you I'm sitting comfortably and we can begin. If you go back to the late 18th or early 19th centuries and you had a large collection of books, you'd have had big bookcases to house them in. But that in itself presents a problem. How are you going to get up to those top shelves to get the books out that you want to read? Well, back in the early 19th century, a company called Morgan and Sanders came up with the answer to that problem. This book of Regency Furniture and Interiors by Ackermans was published in various parts during the early 19th century. It was very much the Regency period version of what we today would call World of Interiors magazine. And in here, there is a plate 29, a metamorphic library chair. And it says, under this head, we this month present our readers with a representation and description of a truly novel and useful article called the metamorphic library chair. This chair, which forms at the same time a complete set of library steps, is considered the best and handsomest article ever yet invented, where two complete pieces of furniture are combined in one, an elegant and truly comfortable armchair and set of library steps. It then goes on to say how it's made, what it's made of, and even says the French stuffed cushions covered with Morocco leather. This ingenious piece of furniture is manufactured at Messrs Morgan and Saunders, Catherine Street in the Strand in London. So what have we got? We've got the solution to the problem of getting onto the upper reaches of your bookcases. When you first look at this chair, you've got this rich mahogany going all the way through it. It's incredibly heavy. It's beautifully styled. And when you look at this, you look at those wonderful scrolling arms the sabred legs front and back and there is a bolt at the back which if we undo it allows us to access the rest of it. This is what it's all about. There you have a wonderful set of library steps. The four steps taking you up what some three foot three foot six we know that Gillows of Lancaster also made this model of chair and it's illustrated in Susan Stewart's book. But I'm very lucky in that a friend of mine, Clive Taylor, wrote his doctoral thesis on the Regency period metamorphic library chair. And he's been at great lengths to show that this was only ever made by Gillows, Morgan and Sanders. So which of those two would have made this chair? It's not, as far as I can see, signed. It doesn't have a maker's label or a plaque on it. But there are clues to this being by Morgan and Saunders. I think probably the most important is the fact that the top rail, which we see here, rests within the uprights. On the ones by Gillows, it tends to be overlapping on those, sticking out beyond, so that this is the edge on which the weight is taken, whereas the Morgan and Sanders chairs tend to take the weight on there when it's opened, like that. 
we know that the article in Ackermann's was published in 1811. And that helps us to date this to about that period, 1810, when you see the sabred legs that we associate with that period coming in, 1810 to 1815. A rich mahogany with these leather-lined steps. And again, when we close that up, you have the cane seat and the cushion which just sits on the cane seat like that. And once again, I'm sitting comfortably. Thank you for watching this masterclass. You can subscribe to our channel by pressing the notification bell below. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.